good. All right, let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back. All right, let's let's try this again. Well, not welcome back. Hey there. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome. I gotta keep it real. And this, this ain't it. Let's try this again. Starbucks. My name is Ovi. How can I serve you today? Hi. Can I have a tall caramel ribbon crunch with coconut milk? Tall caramel ribbon crunch with coconut milk? What else? That's all. That's it? Mm -hmm. Alright. That is 634. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you. Let's talk about some things. We have a lot to talk about. Let's just take a sip because a lot of changes coming. And I needed my coffee to take the news. All right, so let's discuss some things i want to take you along my journey because it's been a long one <laughs> this is hard i have no script i have no bullet points so i'm talking from the heart because there i've been processing a lot of information desires what my heart wants what logically makes sense and all that good stuff and i want to take you down on my journey to kind of honor how far I've come and then kind of be the this be the stopping point of what's to come in the next chapter of my life on this channel. I know I'm probably talking in circles, so let's go back to where it all started, which was right on this couch. <laughs> in today's video, in this video, in today's video, I started a YouTube channel. Well, my first video wasn't on this couch, but this is where I stepped into being a content creator on YouTube. So I want to teach you how to make a picture frame centerpiece. And so I figured this was the right place to start this video because we're going to go through some memories and then take you on a journey of what's to come. So when I first started this channel, I had no idea that it would gain any traction. I had no idea that people would actually hit the subscribe button. And I had no idea that a lot of my videos would end up in front of thousands of people. All because I just did things from the heart. And to my surprise, a lot of you, thousands of you, have been on this journey with me from those moments in time when I was doing DIY projects and how-to tutorials and really exploring my creative talents and gifts that I wanted to share with the world because I was in such a low point back then and I needed something to kind of give me that spark, give me that light, give me that joy that was missing in my life. Because I was a teacher teaching in a classroom and I couldn't really tap into my creative flow. And if 
you are a person who's done life with me since I was a little girl. <laughs> wink, wink, my mom and my sister. I used to love doing projects. I used to love being creative. I used to always switch my room around and have different like decorations and all that. I've always been the creative person when it came to my life. So it made sense why I would create a channel with creative projects that I was learning and then teaching you all because I absolutely love to teach you. And that's how this channel started. It started off with my inspiring designs because my designs were supposed to inspire you in any shape, way, or form for you to execute the thing I was teaching or creating or to just give you hope to know that anything is possible when you put your mind to it and wanting to make you believe in you. That was the goal. That was really the mission of Minds, Mind Designs. I used to say this little cute slogan, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. Where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. Where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. And that's when I transitioned to more of the event industry when it came to my channel. So when I tapped into the balloon garlands, <laughs> <laughs> that was an interesting ride and then I started a business in the event industry I wanted to do kids parties and I realized that we can't just plan it all we can't design it all because that's harder to do and in fact I was a terrible planner anyways so I tapped into becoming a designer but not specifically a designer a balloon artist a balloon stylist for kid parties and I kept niching down to where I was just focusing on balloons and backdrops and I loved it. Now, don't get me wrong, if you've ever done any balloon designs or if you're in the creative event industry, you know it can be a challenge, especially creatively. I don't really like putting my validation in my designs and then charging someone. I never felt comfortable with that. And I never admitted that on this channel. I just wanted to give you what I was learning, lessons that I was doing, and experiences that I was having because... I know somebody out there was going through the same thing and it happened and again my channel just skyrocketed into the thousands of views reaching thousands of people who are interested in learning more about the balloon industry the party industry and then we get shut down we get locked down and my event business was like it halted it was supposed to be my escape it was supposed to be like I was gonna build this empire with balloons and be in the kid party space and we just got locked down and I was like well what now like well I don't know how long we're gonna be locked down what can I do on my channel if I'm not doing events bing another idea <laughs> all right so we getting into the, the nitty and gritty so what happened <laughs> Well, I was already a teacher and I was working on exiting out of the classroom. So I discovered what it meant to be a business coach. I had no idea what a business coach was. I was a basketball coach, so I knew what coaching was, but I only knew it in the sports category because I used to play basketball. Then we get locked down and I find out that you can become a business coach and I sign up for a course, a few courses actually. And I learned how to help someone else do the same things I was learning while we were sitting down and not going anywhere. And so I figured, like, let me teach someone how to do what I'm doing, help them get started. And then once we get out of this lockdown, then I'll go back to my business. That was supposed to be the plan A. However, I got distracted. And I want to talk about that because that is the reason why you're watching this video. Before we continue on to this journey, I wanted to mention something that I have learned today after f going on six years of being on YouTube, is that there is a universal law called the law of opposites. I'm actually going to record it on my podcast because I think it's, it's so important to know. I think God and you have signed this contract of why you're here. And while you're here, you're supposed to learn the experiences and lessons that you're supposed to learn and then help, hopefully help someone else, I think, 
through the same lessons and experiences. It's a lot faster because you learned it so you're able to teach others. Well, coaching was like that for me. I was like, oh, I could help them get started because they went through the same challenges I went through. Every single thing, being scared to show up on camera, being scared to price, don't know how to market, don't know how to put things together, don't know where to start. Like, how do we just get started? So then I had five people join a, my program, coaching program, just to see if I could help them. They knew that I didn't know and they agreed. And <laughs> wow, they got insane results. In fact, the results were better than mine. And, it, and that just kept happening over and over again, right? So back to the law of opposite. The law of opposite says that when you have a certain desire or when you have something that you're good at, gifted at, there's a total opposite of it. And so sometimes those distractions come into your world as you're gearing towards your goal and you get distracted. And so I say all this because coaching was my plan B. It was never supposed to be my plan A. Never. It was never supposed to be my plan A for this channel. And yet I pushed it. I swapped it. In fact, I swapped my plan A and threw it out the window and focused on my plan B. Because my plan B was the indicator that this is what people need and this is what people will be willing to pay for. Yeah, we need another sip. Because that's not true at all. I got distracted. I got distracted by looking at dollar signs and seeing what other people were making. And then I started to create content on here. And I switched why I got started. And why, how my channel blew up and how I was able to help other people. And don't get me wrong, I think the business tips, the marketing tips, and all the tips when it came to like my experiences growing as an entrepreneur, I think it was super helpful. I think I was always thinking about how to help the person who's watching. But we're being very transparent here. <laughs> and I'm going to be very honest because I want to honor what I've been doing because it's no longer going to be the focus anymore. I was solely focused on leaving the world that I was in so much. I was so attached to leaving. I didn't want to work in a nine to five. I didn't want to teach. I didn't want to do the things that people were telling me I had to do. I wanted to escape the world. And so I attached my goals to helping people like you. And whenever you attach your anything, on um, in this world, whenever you are attached to an outcome, you never have it, right? Because it's a desire, it's a want. And instead of being more in an acceptance and understanding that thing, life always works out. And so as soon as you can imagine it, as soon as you can create something, it will always work out. I didn't, I didn't know anything about YouTube. I didn't know anything about creating content. I didn't know about anything about being a YouTuber, a content creator, marketing, pricing, all the things I didn't know. And it was a journey and stepping stones into creating content. But I lost track of the mission of this channel. I lost who I was because I was only focused on the money. I lost the reason why I decided to make content for you because I was focused on money. So going back into the timeline, we go back to normalcy somewhat, right? I get a lot of testimonials and I create this program and it's called Party Like a CEO. And I'm like, oh my God, this is it. This is how people can get started. This is how people can make it. They can get consistent income. I kept helping more and more and more and more people. And then it wouldn't sell. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the thing that's going to help people make money. But it wasn't what I was supposed to do. It was my plan A, but technically this was plan C and D that was becoming a priority. I never focused on the reason why I started my channel. So things happen. We go from making DIY projects to then telling you about the event business side to then giving you more business tips. And then I was just like, all right, maybe I'm not, I'm, I'm, I can't figure out this business thing. I can help people get money, but it's not really guaranteed. Nothing in life is guaranteed. But the one thing I am good is marketing. 
I can make someone look so beautiful. I can create content. I'm just like, I could vomit out ideas of how, what to do when it comes to marketing. And so I decided, I was like, well, instead of a business coach, maybe I'll be a marketing coach. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna help the world market their business. Oh, Lord. <laughs> It sounds good in theory, right? <laughs> uh, so then I started making marketing strategies and talking about content marketing and all these other things. And I'm just like, it, it just got, it kept getting worse. My views were low on YouTube. I started a podcast. I rebranded. I changed my entire YouTube name from my inspiring designs to Justine Jordan Creative. And I was going to focus on being this elevated and more top tier coach that helps these six, seven, and eight figure entrepreneurs and blah, 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 blah. Now, don't get me wrong. I still love teaching and coaching, but that's not what this channel was for. I started listening to everyone else when it came to how I showed up, not only in my business, but how I showed up on YouTube. Why? I got so distracted for the past three years, I don't even recognize who I am on this channel anymore. I really don't. It's a hard concept to admit, and this is why I had to create this video, because I can't do this anymore. It's not who I am. It's not who I was designed to be, and it's not who God created me to be on this earth to help someone like you. There's just no way. This wasn't supposed to be it. My plan C, D, E, F, G, all the way to Z wasn't even supposed to exist because plan A was the only plan God gave me. And I ignored it. And I didn't listen. And so I got distracted. And so for three years, I was making content for you, but it was really to fuel my pockets. How selfish of me. I never wanted to do something because of the money. That's the reason why I got a teaching degree. Because I, I was supposed to be an accountant when I first was in college. And then I decided to be a teacher. Because I got the best advice from my mom. She said, don't worry about the career you choose. Do something you love. And money will always follow. She told me that at 18 years old, and I still carry it to, with me to this day, but I ignored even that message. That was kind of like foreshadowing what's going on here. And so I decided to pause. Who am I? Who do I want to be? Because this ain't it. <laughs> this is not it at all. So I want you to take a lesson from my mistakes, my experiences on YouTube, and I want to inspire you by sharing my story because you don't need to be anybody. <laughs> Actually, coming closer to who you are internally, not egotistically, internally, the soul that is made in God's image and the person who you are behind the scenes and the person who everyone else falls in love with. The person that is behind the cell phone. The person that is gets to just be you and it doesn't take any effort. That's who you're supposed to be. Not all these identities. You're supposed to be just how you were designed to be. In fact, you know, I still love coaching and I don't think I'll ever do away with it because it's something I absolutely, I love teaching. I love, I love, I love inspiring people. I love being there for people. And so coaching is not going away. <laughs> However, one thing we, I did on a coaching session with one of my clients, I mean, she has a YouTube channel. She's about to blow up. <laughs> I told her it's just that 
the way nature is, how it just naturally flows. The water doesn't think about being water. The fish doesn't think about how it swims. The baby in your tummy doesn't think about how it's going to develop and be born. And the mom-to-be doesn't have to think about, oh my God, I have to create this baby. It just is. It just is. This whole world represents that when we meet resistance, we are not in alignment. Because nature just is. So our souls are aligned with that and we are just who we are. You are you and I am me. There are some similarities that we both have, but we're so different yet so alike. However, when we take the path of least resistance and we just flow when things come so easy, that's where everything you want and more comes into your world. I'm a product of that, but I lost sight of that. I had no expectations for any of the videos that I ever did in my entire YouTube channel until that 2020 lockdown. Until we, I became a business coach because now it was all about money. It was all about funneling into that. No, that is the path of resistance. Who I am internally and how I am, how I grew my channel is the path of least resistance. And I lost that along the way. So, where am I going? <laughs> well, I'm still going to be here. <laughs> but I'm going back to why I started this channel. I'm going back to creating videos that were fun and being creative and not worrying about how the outcome is. Because I love the things that I did when I first started. In fact, there's a question that I even asked my clients. I said, if every decision was the right decision, I heard this from another person, what would you choose? If every decision was the right decision, what would you choose? And I'm like, yeah, I took two months to figure it out, but it was being creative. I miss being creative. I miss teaching creatively. That's where this channel was supposed to be. That's why so many people still continuously find me on YouTube. Because I was teaching in a, such a creative way. And so what's the focus from here on out after this video? I'm going back to who I used to be. I'm going back to my true self. I'm going back to how God designed me. I was not meant to be this coach and do all these things and give it no i was designed to teach the world inspire the world through my creativity that is my path of least resistance i still create i just don't film it and so i'm going back to that i'm going back to just being authentically me i'm going back to not worrying about what where my video goes. And I understand if you signed up and subscribed to this channel for a certain reason and then all of a sudden it didn't. That's what happened when I transitioned from creativity to more business. And I'm okay with that. But I wanna honor that and I wanna share my truth because I think you should honor and share your truth as well. The world doesn't need another blank. The world needs you and the world needs me. There are millions of people I wanna continue to inspire. But I can't do that being someone else. I can't do that listening to other people. I only can do that from what internally is designed by me. That's how I started this channel. That was the mission. It was to inspire people. <laughs> and I taught in such a creative way and I lost track of time and I overflowed with such gratitude and appreciation and there was no strategy or nothing. There was nothing I had to do. There was nothing I had to do to meet and greet and have someone like you watch my content. There was nothing I had to do. I didn't have to be someone else. I didn't have to schedule it out. All I had to do was just show up. What do I want to teach? What do you want to create? Share it with the world. So where am I going with my content? <laughs> Like I said, I'm going to be way more creative on here. I have so many things that I love watching and I love sharing and I love seeing and 
I have to bring it to my channel. It's because that is who I am. I am the quirky person. I love to create content. I love to inspire people, but I also love to like create things and I want to do it more in an elevated way. I am a lot of, a lot older than I was when I first started. I have way more experience now and I don't have the same name. I'm not going back to my inspiring designs. My inspiring designs was created from a depressive state. Justine Jordan was created through inspiration. It was created through wanting to be elevated, wanted things to look beautiful. And I love that. I love that now more than ever. So the mission of my channel from here on out is going to be bringing my Pinterest board, my vision board, my vision to life. I love shopping on Amazon. <laughs> shopping on Amazon I love it I watch videos about it guys like we're gonna be sharing a lot of Amazon finds that I find because I want to share I want to recreate what I'm watching just in my own way I also want to do projects not just DIY but like even around the house because my goal is to own my own home so I want to take you along that journey but for right now we're still in the same place where we left off so we're gonna make this place beautiful and anything that I create I just want it to be beautiful I have no plan per se I just have a Pinterest board and I'm saving those pins to then bring it to you because that's what I used to do I used to I created a whole different account in fact if you want to see what's coming I'll leave my Pinterest board down below follow me I see what's coming up see what's on the horizon because I'm going to create it and I want to travel and Take you guys with me through my experiences what i'm learning where i'm going <laughs> drinking coffee still like i absolutely love all of that's coming i'm i i light up everyone says every time i talk about where i want to go i light up <laughs> and if you can see the difference from when i was talking about my journey to where i am now then i guess it's true and i think when you love what you're doing it one it doesn't feel like work Two, you can have so much more than what your imagination. And I'm not saying I'm doing this to create a life. I'm doing this because this is what I would be doing despite money, despite anything. I would do this probably when I was retired. Like, and I wasn't doing it. I would still probably want to create content and make things look beautiful and bring things that inspired me to then hopefully inspire you. That is the goal for Justine Jordan Creative. And if you're with me... I would love one to hear your thoughts let me know down below in the comment section and then if you're new here <laughs> what a great way to, <laughs> to transition into something beautiful hit that subscribe button because the journey has just begun and I feel like I've been in my cocoon and I love butterflies guys I like I got a whole I got a whole tattoo of butterflies <laughs> and I've been in my cocoon and it's time to emerge and spread my wings to soar on new heights of where I can take this channel. The last thing I wanted to share with you is just that I want you to take my journey, my experience, and watch all my videos, but to know that it is okay not to know. I don't know. I don't have any goal. I, I would love to hit a million subscribers. I would love to impact a million people on this platform. That would be amazing. But that's just something I, I that's on my Pinterest board. <laughs> <laughs> but the goal is to impact and inspire and know that I want to say for the people who have think they have to continue to doing the same thing and not change it's not true at all you can do whatever you want you can do whatever you want you can change so many times until you figure it out because I think that's part of the journey that was the mistakes I made in the past led me to embrace who I truly am inside. Who I truly am when nobody's looking. Who I truly am the way God intended me to be. Because it just feels right. It feels amazing. And just know you can do whatever you want. Side note, I'm still going to be creating marketing, content marketing strategies on my podcast. So I do have a podcast called Coffee and Content Podcast. I actually love doing podcasts. I love the content and I love sharing my experience. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to share my marketing strategies and things that go on behind the scenes of creating content 
and even the thought process that I probably won't share here because I'm being more creative here, but then kind of teaching and sharing my experience behind the scenes on my podcast. So I will link it down below if you're interested. If, if you definitely have followed me up to this point and you're going to miss those videos and those those nuggets that I used to leave. And then, yes, the last thing is that I'm still going to coach. I'm behind the scenes, though. It's not going to be front facing. It's not going to be. I don't want to do that. Right. If people want it, you know where to find it. If you don't, I'm still going to create beautiful things to hopefully inspire you. So on that note, I have no closing little slogan. I'm going to think of a new one <laughs> or maybe I keep it the same. Right. Because the whole outro of my videos used to be continue to design your dreams into reality and i hope you guys are designing your dreams into reality i hope you design your dreams into reality yeah maybe maybe we'll keep that we'll keep that i hope you continue to design your dreams into reality because that's what i'm doing right designing my dreams into reality i'm going to take you guys with me <sighs> All right, I have no idea. I have some videos that are coming soon. Let's step into this new era together. I'll see you in the next one.